Hello, welcome to Fictional Focus. This week's video will be games I like to play, specifically Legendary Marvel. So let's get started. So to begin with, we have the board. It has a little section here that gives you a quick little setup guide and a little section here that tells you what you can do on your turn, or what you do on your turn, your turn order and everything. And you start out by laying out the wounds, bystanders, you pick a scheme at random. For simplicity, I'm just gonna use the Midtown Bank Robbery Scheme because it's very simple. Pick a mastermind at random. I chose Dr. Doom just to make things easier. And you lay out the shield officer. For this, I'm just gonna be using the base game of Legendary Marvel. There's a lot of extensions, expansions. I have a lot of them. I can go through all that right now. There's so many of them. And then to start with, you pick five heroes at random and you put them here, your hero deck, and shuffle them up. And then you draw five cards into the HQ. For sake of the video, I made it so they were each one of the different heroes and the different types. We'll go over that. And then here's your villain deck. To get your villain deck, I actually have a quick reference thing here on back of the guide. And that's what the box box art looks like too on front, front of the rule book. So there's a quick reference for getting started. It tells you exactly how to get the whole game started. It's basically all I look at after after I read the rules each time I play. I just look at this, it tells you exactly how to get started. So each hero card has a different faction. Like Spider uh, Spider Friends, Shield, Avengers, and then they'll have their different effects will correspond with different groups. They each have a different type. And the gray, supposed to be like tech or something. The little Hulk fist, the blue target, the red little arrow guys, and yellow, it's like a I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. But you can tell just by the color of the card. So whenever the card says, like this one says, you get plus one attack for each color of hero you have. That's what these are. The yellow, the red, the blue, and the gray. And then each person starts out with a deck. I guess I should have started with saying this is a deck building game. So you start with a small deck, and then as you go through, you recruit heroes to build up your deck. You start with eight shield agents. I don't know what the camera is. Eight shield agents and four shield troopers. I got my deck right here. You shuffle them up and you draw six cards. So you have your six cards. Now the stars are your recruitment points. And the little slashes are basically like your attack. So at the start of your turn, you're going to draw a card from the villain deck. And if it has, some of them have abilities called ambush, it's a type of ability, and it makes it so it happens right away. This is basically, this is how much attack it takes to defeat this villain. And I only have two, so I'm not going to be able to defeat this villain this turn. But I have four recruit. So I could, and each turn you play all of your cards. Because you're going to draw six new cards at the end of the turn. So I play all the cards, I can't do anything with those guys, they're useless. But I can have play, but I have four recruit. So I can take Spider-Man, take the Black Widow, they go in your discard pile. You draw more heroes to fill up the HQ. And then you draw six new cards. 
which you start with six card or start with twelve cards. So basically, you get two handful to begin with, and then now that your deck is empty, once you need to draw more cards, you'll just shuffle your discard pile, and that'll be your new deck. And then you can start getting your better cards, and you just keep going like that. And this is set up for if there were two players. There are solo rules for if you want to play by yourself. This right here is set up for two players. So hypothetically, then the second person would go, you draw the next card, which is a Master Strike. There's four, there are different types of cards in the deck we're gonna go over. So this is the Henchman villain, which they, they this is victory points. I'll put that to the camera. The little red guy there is victory points. After you defeat a villain, they go into a special pile for you, a victory, like a victory pile. And at the end of the game, this is what you count up to see if you won or not. As all the players are working together to defeat the Mastermind. But you're also competing against each other to try to get the most points. Now when you draw the Master Strike card, you go over to here to the Mastermind, which is Dr. Doom. See, he's worth five. And you do what the Master Strike says which is each player with exactly six cards in hand reveals a gray hero or puts two cards from their hand on top of their deck, which these guys don't count as gray heroes. It'd have to be one of these. So let's just say we draw that and then it goes in the KO pile. I don't have any gray heroes. So I put two cards in my deck from my hand on top of my deck. So I'm gonna choose these two guys since not enough attack to do anything anyway. And again, I have four recruit. So I'm gonna take Captain America. That'll go in your discard pile. And now you gotta draw a new hand. All right, and you need to, I didn't shuffle, so it's gonna be all Nick Fury from now on. And then now you take your discard pile and you shuffle it up. I'm not very good at shuffling, as you can see. Which is why for like the big decks, these guys, whoops, these guys, I have card shuffler. It's just a little cheap one I got at Walmart, but it works nice. It does what I needed to do. So. All right, so I shuffle the deck. So then I draw four cards. Oh, and I got Spider-Man. All right, so then hypothetically, my turn again, draw the next card, and it's another villain. So it goes, this guy moves over, and this guy goes here. Now, which we should have talked about before, but the scheme, the Midtown Bank robbery, before you get, as you're getting everything set up, you look at the scheme and it has a little setup section. So eight twists, which we'll get to twists in a minute. You put eight twists in the deck and then you put 12 bystanders in the deck. And then the, sometimes there are special rules. Like each villain gets plus one health damage it takes to defeat them for each bystander it has. And then there are twist cards, which we'll get to in a minute. When you draw the twist card, you go to the scheme and you do whatever the twist says. And then it'll have an evil wins when eight bystanders are carried away by escaping villains. And that's when you lose. When evil wins, you lose the game. And escape villains is when they have to make it all the way here and then they draw another villain and then they'll escape and then there's nothing you can do about it. All right, so he again has a fight attack or fight ability, which means if I was to fight him for each Avenger hero, he rescues a bystander. Because oh. the fight attack happens when you defeat them. So if I was to fight him and defeat him, for each av Avenger hero that like I have, you rescue a bystander. And like this one, you leave the top two cards of your deck, KO one of them, and put the other back. Now, the, a good strategy and kind of the point is you want to KO these cards after a little while because you want to have your deck full of actual heroes 
who have abilities and stuff. So cards like that that allow you to KO, and like he lets you KO, and it has to be ones that specifically say like a hero, not like a different color card or something. So let's say now it's now it's I'm still going on my turn. So now I have, so you play all your cards. So I have three attack now. So I'm going to use my three, and you can play your cards in any order. So I'm going to play these guys first. I have three attack, so I can defeat him. Now because I defeated him, I can look at the top two cards on my deck, KO one of them, put the other back. So I can look at my cards. So I'm going to KO, look at my cards. So I want to KO these regular guys. So I'm going to KO that guy and put her back. Because then also, and now he goes in my victory pile, and that's for points later. Because also, then he has an ability. They reveal the top card of your deck. If that card costs two or less, draw it. Well, I just looked at my top card. So I know for a fact that she's there and she costs two. So we're going to put him back. Oh, the top card of your deck, not top two cards. My mistake. So I draw, so now I have her in my hand. And they're all done. They're all used up. I use their attacks. I use his ability. So now they go in the discard pile. So now I have her. So I'll play her, which allows me to draw a card. Now this means I had to have played a different gray hero before I played this card to activate that ability. It's like that one and that one. Is any ones that show the ability before the effect. Or not ability, before the effect. The type of card before the effect. It means you have to play that card before this card. So, I got to draw a card. So she's all done now. Goes in the discard pile. And I got to draw a card. So now I have four recruit. So now I can take another McFury. They all go in the discard pile. Draw another hero. And you draw six more cards. Which is the rest of my deck. Now I got Captain America now. So now it's the turn again. Let's draw a card. It's another villain. And he has an ambush ability. He captures a bystander. Ambush abilities happen immediately at when they're drawn. So he captured a bystander. And then, if you remember the scheme, special rules, each villain gets plus one damage it takes to defeat them for each bystander it has. So now he's at seven. Well, he can't do anything for me, so I'm going to put him in the discard pile. And I only have two attack otherwise, so they can't do anything for me. I have three recruit. So I'm going to take this Nick Fury, put them all in my discard pile, draw another hero, Nick Fury again. Now we have to shuffle up our deck. Most of the bystanders don't have abilities. There are only a few of them that do. Yeah, I think most of them were in the expansions too. I didn't take those out of the bystanders. Alright, so I got my deck. So I'll draw six cards. There we go, got another gray hero, or two gray heroes. Cool. So then, start of the turn again. You draw next card. And this is a scheme twist. Which means you come over to the scheme, and you do whatever the twist says. Any villain in the bank captures two bystanders. Then play the top card of the villain deck. And that'll just go there. So any villain in the bank captures two bystanders. And usually, yeah, usually the bystander abilities don't happen until after they're rescued. So now he's at eight. And then now I gotta draw another villain card. Which is a scheme twist again. Hope I didn't, oh shoot. Because <laughs> I didn't really shuffle this either. Yeah, I forgot, I didn't really shuffle this either. 
for demonstration purposes. So we'll just say the next card was a, a villain. So he'll move, he'll move, and then he'll go there. All right, now I continue my turn. So I have three attack with, you play, you have to play all your cards and you play them in any order. So I have three recruit. So that, there's nothing that I can do to help that except draw a card. So I might want to save the recruit for last. So now I have two gray cards and both of them have a ability that you have to play a gray card beforehand to do it. So I can only use one of them. So it depends on if I want to rescue a bystander or if I want to get plus one attack. Now the bystanders are worth one point at the end of the game. A little red there, a little red guy there. So you can do a whole deck and strategy based around just saving a whole bunch of bystanders to rack up points. So and then, which I'll probably do because getting plus one attack won't do anything for me. I already have three, having four won't allow me to defeat anybody. This guy's at eight now, he's at seven, at three. So I would just use her, use him first to attack him, and then play her, draw a card, and then use her ability to rescue a bystander, and then recruit somebody. And so on and so forth. That's how and the turns will keep going around, and, and you'll defeat villains, recruit heroes, build up your deck, and then the mastermind. The whole point is to defeat the mastermind. Because the idea is he's trying to rob a bank, which is kind of ridiculous for Dr. Doom, but... Doesn't really matter. Now, to fight the mastermind, you have to do damage, which is nine. Usually they're a lot higher than most of the villains. It's nine. And every time you fight the mastermind, he has a little, I think it's called, yeah, tastic, tactic cards. And you draw one of those after you defeat him, and you do whatever the effect is. They'll have all kinds of different effects and stuff. And then this goes into your victory pile. And they're usually worth more points. He's worth five points. And you've got to beat him basically four times in order to defeat him. And then I think there are different rules. Like sometimes you beat him the four times you can win. Or you could choose to then have to beat him one last time to get this guy. Now there's also the shield officer. Which is a card you can recruit at any time. She just... Her recruit is three. So I could use these three cards to recruit her. It's a good card to get early on. Because then she has two. She's basically... This card, just better. Better version of this card. So if there's like anyone that you can't recruit here. But you still want to spend the points. You can just grab her. To help get more recruit points for later on. So that's basically it. You keep playing around until you defeat the mastermind and you make it so you stop the scheme. The key to this one is making sure nobody escapes with bystanders. Because if too many escape with bystanders, you automatically lose. You want to try and keep them hovering around here and trying to build up as much power as you can to attack the, the mastermind. And there's a bunch of different schemes these are all the schemes I have they're from all kinds of different expansions each do different things and the one expansion they added dual side schemes where they have the scheme transformed and it's like a harder version of the scheme it's pretty cool these are all the each expansion comes with their own little rule pamphlet because they add all kinds of they add all kinds of new terminology and game mechanics, teams, and whatnot to make it more complicated. But it's really fun. It's a really good game. Game I love. I've only ever played the Marvel version of Legendary. I've never played any of the other spinoffs. So I don't know if they play the same way. I just played this one. So that's about everything. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and check out our new podcast I'm doing with my friend. First episode is talking about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I'll put links to everything and for the game and stuff in the description. So, till next week.
Bye.